Okay, day 23. What's going on? We have a list of edges, and we want to know how many three interconnected components there are, whatever that means. What does it mean? Uh, sets of three, I see. We're just looking for triangles. How many container computers whose name starts with T? Sure. How many That's annoying. Not right. Shit. Ah. Uh. Just divided by six, two, six, four, one. That's frustrating. Yeah. It's going to kill me. Uh, what is the second thing going to be? I don't know, quadruples or something? Still not the right answer? Oh, shit. Uh, get that. Sets of three computers, each computer is connected to the other two computers. Different directional. Starts with T. Oh my god. Well, that's really embarrassing. Five, four, three, two, one. Cool. What is the password? The largest set of computers that are all connected. Okay.
the computer at the land party. Oh, sorry, I want to click. Uh, I assume it's too late to get any points. Yes, so fine, we'll just do it ourselves. Considering using a library for this. Uh, all connected to each other. How do I find the just quick? All right. Well, that was frustrating. Uh, but, you know, I shouldn't submit two wrong answers to part one. It's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, this is kind of an unsatisfying way to get the board just clicked as well. Like, does this even work? Who knows? I mean, it terminates after very few iterations. Okay, well, anyway, let's talk about it. Uh, so, we are given a graph, right? That is a list of connections between vertices. That's a computer science graph. Is you have a bunch of, in this case, computers, and then you have a bunch of edges or connections between them. 
And part one says look for all the triangles, that is three computers where all three are connected to each other. How many contain a name that starts with T? So, okay, we can just read in the graph uh, as a list of edges. This is pretty much always how you want to represent a graph is uh, a dict from a vertex to the set of vertices that are connected to it. Uh, and then for part one, we grab all these triangles. Uh, and count. Okay, so for every triple in the graph, I guess we'd want to not double count the triples. Uh, this is kind of an ugly way of doing that. Maybe I should clean it up. Um, the point is, like, we only want to consider each triple once, but we don't want to consider ABC and BAC. So uh, let's just do them in order. I guess it's maybe nicer to just sort them for now. So now we shouldn't need this. And now we can check if it's a triangle. That is, A is in, you know, A is connected to B, A is connected to C, and B is connected to C. We don't check the other direction because we said that the edges are bidirectional. And then the problem set is that we only care about ones that start with T. So fine, just check all that. Uh, that should be the answer to part one. One four one nine was the right answer, and then part two says find the largest set of computers that are all connected to each other. At first, I misread this to be the largest component, but they actually want the largest click. Um, so not just like have a path to each other, but actually have an edge to each other, okay, actually connected. Um, so I'm not sure how to do this. I think it's a uh, like MP hard in general, um, but. I just did something silly, which works totally fine, uh, which is just try a bunch of random shuffles of the vertices and just try like greedily selecting a click or like, maximally selecting a click, I guess. That is, for every vertex, if it's connected to everything that's already in the click, um, throw it in. Right, so you always pick the first guy in your shuffle, and then you pick you know someone who's connected to him and someone who's connected to both of those and so on. Um, and hopefully, you know, after a few shuffles, we get uh, the optimal click. And apparently that works fine, um, even though it's not really clear why that would be, I guess. Um, like, you might, I guess, get unlucky and never see uh, the optimal ordering. But it seems to turn out that, I would see an ordering that gives you this click, but it seems to turn out that you get the click quite quickly. Um, so, yeah, that's it for today. See you tomorrow.